GRT is one of the few AI coins that I believe is going to give us more than a 10x in this bull market. And on today's video, I will be focusing on my long-term price prediction analysis and above all, give you my short-term price prediction, giving you key areas of supports that you need to continue holding. So make sure that you stick around till the end of the video. And starting the video here on the daily chart by first giving you my long-term price prediction analysis, you can see that after getting our bear market lows last year, we saw an aggressive bounce to the upside in a move that gave us a high above the 0 0.4947 completing the formation of these adiative count one and after we picked in that adiative count one i was expecting a bit of a short-term pullback in an adiative count two whose minimum target areas i have highlighted here on the charts using this blue target area an area that i came up with by pulling the fibs from the bear market lows that we made last year to the highs above the 0 0.4947, giving me a minimum pullback target area between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78, which is an area that we have now fully maximized, and there are high chances that we now have the law in place for that additive count too. And in the next coming days or maybe weeks, we are going to start that aggressive bounce to the upside in an additive count 3 whose minimum target areas can be given by pulling the FIBs from the low that you made last year to the high above the 0 0.4947, then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for that ADT wave count 3 above the FIB level 1.618, and that is above the 0 0.78 dollars. Then we can expect a short-term pullback in an ADT wave count 4, then continue gearing up even higher in an ADT wave count 5, getting us back above the dollar mark and possibly taking us back to new all-time highs. And that's the reasoning as to why I'm saying that we can easily see more than a 10x here on the GRT chart. You can also see that on the daily chart, we're also seeing a break to the upper side of this descending trend line, which is an indication that we have started to see that change of structure. And in the next coming weeks, we might continue breaking through key areas of resistances and then start that impulsive movement in an additive count three. Jumping to the four hour chart to now give you key areas of supports that you need to continue holding. You can see that from the lows that we made on the 6th of September, we have seen a very nice bounce to the upside, breaking through key areas of resistances in a move that has now given us a high above the 0 0.1785. And this movement to the upside so far is a three wave structure to the upside, having this as a wave one, then a wave two. And this was an impulsive movement in a wave three with minimum target areas, which can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the lows that we made on the 6th of September to that high in that wave one, then dragging the fibs to that low over there, you can see that we have seen a bounce to the fib level 1.618 above the 0 0.1771. And we have seen a reaction of this area over here. And there's a chance that we could easily see a pullback in the next coming hours, maybe to give us uh, a retracement in an ADT wave count 4 before we can see another bounce to the upside in a wave 5 giving us a break above the significant highs that we made above the 0 0.18 having the next target areas back above the 0 0.2 dollars and if that is the case then pulling the fibs from the lows that we have down here below the 0 0.1346 to the highs that we have made today we can get a minimum pullback target area between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.382. And that is between the 0 0.1615 and the 0 0.1564, which is an area that we can easily fully maximize in the next coming hours. Continue holding within the area and see a reaction to the upside in what can easily give us another leg to the upside getting us back above the 0 0.2 dollars so that is all i'm expecting to play out here on the grt chart for the next coming hours and let's be patient and see how that plays out and i will be keeping you up to date